Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to a new episode of When You're Delusional, You're Gonna Be on TikTok. I do hope you're gonna enjoy the video, so let's just get into it. Why being a bitch is sexy and attractive. Before you say anything in the comments, just wait and hear me out, okay? As somebody who used to be a people pleaser, I used to allow people to walk all over me and I never stuck up for myself, to now I know my worth, I have a lot of self-love, I set very clear boundaries, and I have high standards, okay? So I just want to say, first of all, it is okay to stick up for yourself. It is safe to stick up for yourself. You know, I'm not saying walk around like a stone cold bitch. I'm not. I'm just saying do not allow people to mistreat you, okay? Know your worth and set very high standards because the only reason you don't have what you want in your life is because you have low standards, okay? Change your standards and make them very high and you will realize that your life will change. I freaking promise you, if you change your standards, your life will change, okay? Love yourself because that's also freaking sexy. For who? Yourself? I understand you need to stand up for yourself, that's great. Except standing up for yourself doesn't mean you need to be a bitch. Or it doesn't mean you're a bitch just because you're standing up for yourself. And being a bitch is sexy and attractive to who? Also yourself? Cause no one else finds that attractive. Crazy in bed might be attractive to some guys. If they're sure they're not gonna see you the next day. Or any other day for that matter. But I think you're confusing the two. Not to mention you cannot keep the same train of thoughts from video to video. Cause this is also you, right? High value women do not show a lot of cleavage, okay? This was a hard pill for me to swallow because I used to wear a lot of busty shirts. But once I completely changed my wardrobe, started viewing myself differently, others started to view me differently. So you went from a 304 to high value woman and now from a high value woman you went to being a bitch. So if I got this right, whenever you change your clothes, whenever you change your wardrobe, also your personality changes, right? It's not your clothes that makes you a high value woman or a bitch or a 304. It's your attitude and your character or lack of. I'm not sure what's more disturbing, the fact that you're bragging about becoming physically abusive to your partner or the fact that you're bragging about becoming physically abusive to your partner with your daughter in the background. How you react to comments like this really just shows how aggressive you are with your partner. It's been years for me, but he still flinches when I raise my hand and then you reply with as he should. Double standards when it comes to domestic violence and physical abuse is disgusting. I think it's really sad that you're bragging about being an abuser and you're raising your child around that environment. You're literally teaching your daughter what love looks like. You're teaching her that love looks like abuse. Let's just change the roles for a second. If a man said these exact words, it would be unacceptable and disgusting. If a man was joking around about making a woman flinch, then that would be unacceptable. If a man responded like this, it would be despicable. Put yourself on a pedestal as if being an abuser is something to brag about. Truly a reflection of who you've chosen to become. I feel sad for anyone that has to witness or be a part of the abuse you put people through. You're not making a joke. You're bragging about being an abuser. This is the part I don't understand. Why do you put yourself through something like this? Especially as a man. Why do you stay in a situation like this? And to be honest, it doesn't matter which gender, which sex. I only say especially as a man because this is a man we're talking about right now. And from what I've seen so far, women usually get more help in situations like this. All the numbers they can call, all the shelters they can go to. But in the end, it doesn't matter. No one should stay in a situation like this. I understand that you as a man don't want to put your hands on her, even though she puts her hands on you and I respect that. It could never be me. I would knock her teeth out before she can yell out daddy. But that's just me. We're all built different and I can respect that. But get help. Talk to someone. Talk to your friends. You don't have any. Talk to your co-workers. Talk to a police officer. Leave. Get divorced. Obviously you have a job. You have your own money. No matter how much or how little you make, just leave. You're gonna be better off anyway. Even a homeless life will be better than this. You don't want to be homeless? Join the army. I know for some people joining the army will be the last resort, but still it's gonna be better than this. And as an ex-military myself, I can promise you it's not that bad. You don't even need to be in a fighting position. You can always choose to do a support role. And it doesn't even need to be the army. Just leave. I'm not in a situation like this, so I can't say for sure because it's not happening to me. It might take a lot of courage for you to leave. I don't know. But just consider the fact that it's not gonna get better. It's only gonna get worse. And I wasn't going to let my period stop me from wearing what I wanted to. And I don't think anybody should have that. I have so many fucking reasons why this should be entirely illegal. And Miss Ma'am, that posted the video, respectfully, you are doing entirely too fucking much. Just like I don't need to see your toilet paper after you wipe your ass with it and it's full of shit. No one wants to see your bloody fucking tampon. People made 
people paid good money to get into that festival and they did not pay to see your fucking pad i'm sorry i said tampon but i meant pad that's why tampons fucking exist for situations like this like where's your um where's your lady like mannerisms i don't get it well i feel like I feel like because of social media, every few months, you know, people want to come up with these bizarre trends or they try to shove these beliefs down people's throat. And no, 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 no one on this earth can convince me that anyone wants to see a fucking pad. Absolutely not. Finally, a lady with common sense and one that is not afraid to say what she thinks. If a man would have said that, he would have been cancelled in a minute. Because you know, that idiot in the beginning, she was fighting patriarchy or whatever the fuck she was doing. But yeah, at least for me, it's refreshing to see a lady that is still a lady. As for the first one, I don't even know what to say. Except that we're doomed as a species. I'm hopeful for a plague or for global warming to come sooner. Because to be honest, I think we overstayed our welcome here on planet Earth. Maybe that's why all the rich are thinking about leaving the planet. And I think they got us to this point. They pushed us right here. And they're gonna leave. And they're gonna watch us on cameras how we're gonna end up killing each other. Because whenever I think that's too much, I find something like this. Sexual harassment includes sitting in rooms with more male officers than women, says police chief. Deputy Chief Constable Maggie Blight, 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 whatever the fuck her name is, says sexism remains a major problem within many forces as well as in wider society. So let me get this straight. If I would be a male police officer and I walk into a room with three policemen and three police women, I cannot be in that room because that will be harassment. How exactly you made it to be the police chief is beyond my level of understanding. No wonder men are being trapped in domestic violence situations and they cannot call the police because they're gonna be the one being arrested. Anyway, this is gonna be it for today. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.